what if I told you that I actually used to be in Antifa, and what I've seen is that it's very widespread. It's not just a few people. There's oh. a lot of them. Okay. I'm Kevin Phillips with Campus Reform. Today we're at George Mason University talking to students about Antifa and whether they should be labeled a terrorist organization for some of their violent tactics. I'm joined by Gabe Nadales, former member of Antifa, to see what students have to say. The definition of terrorism is using violence or threats of violence to achieve political means. Mm -hmm. Do you think Antifa falls under that? Well, I think if they're starting, you know, fights and things at rallies, uh, with at Trump's rallies, then I think so, because people get hurt, people get, you know, killed, and those rallies can get very dangerous. So if they're going there with the purpose to, you know, incite violence, I think that's definitely a terrorist organization. If they're, if they're creating violence, then yeah. Any violence for a political reason is by definition terrorism. I guess if they are going and attacking people, I guess that would that be considered a terrorist group? Yeah. Yeah, well, the definition of terrorism is to enact, uh, use violence for a political goal. So do you think that Antifa follows this rule? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? That's, yeah, that's bad. That's really bad. If that's what they're doing, then yeah, they should be. I don't, wouldn't go as far as, say, domestic terrorist group. The definition of terrorism is using violence to achieve political means. This group is clearly doing that, bragging about being a militant group, using violence and intimidation. So does that, under that definition of terrorism, do you see the point they're making? If they are using violence and intimidation, then yeah. Do you think groups like Antifa uh, reflect negatively on the left as a whole? Oh yeah, definitely. They make us look more violent. I just think, you know, violence isn't really going to get anyone to listen from either party. I don't think it's going to solve anything. Violence is not the right way. I don't like that. I yeah. mean, even though I don't support Trump, I don't think violence is necessarily the answer. Violence is never the answer. I think there's been some instances um, of violence. I think, you know, I don't, again, I don't know if it necessarily represents everybody in, you know, in the group, but um, yeah, I think definitely it seems like they've used violence. I think there's better ways to handle things. So, sometimes. so you don't think it's representative of the whole group? Um, no, I don't think so. Well, well, what if I told you that I actually used to be in Antifa and that uh, this was very much commonplace and without widespread the, the whole organization? So, wait, I'm sorry, could you repeat that? So, what if I told you that I actually used to be in Antifa, and what I've seen is that it's very widespread. It's not just a few people. There's oh. a lot of them. Okay. Well, I mean, I think a first-hand account from someone who used to be in it is uh, a good source of, yeah, opinion. So, <laughs> all right. So, you think, you think that a lot of people, most of the people in it were violent? I think that there's a tendency to be violent. There's okay. a lot of people, while not everybody engaged in violence, I think that there was a tendency that the to the attitude that said that, yeah, this mm -hmm. is okay. So How about you? <laughs> I wanted, this is interesting. Sure. Yeah. So uh, I personally, I never hurt anybody, but I do, I, I do, I have witnessed a lot of different things mm -hmm. in, while I was in Antifa. Fascism, I mean, it's not like we had a revolution. President Obama was president, we had an election, and now we have a new president. The government didn't change whole concept of fascism I mean you know that that's that's ridiculous and that word is I mean that's like comparing Trump to Hitler it's it's you know impolite rude and just wrong are not the right words oh well hello there I'm Kappa Phillips with Campus Reform thanks so much for watching if you want to join our team we're always looking for new investigators correspondents and tipsters click right here to learn more about that if you want to donate to help us make more videos like the one you just saw click that button there and if you want to be among the first person to see all of our new content, click that subscribe button right over there. Thanks so much. Hey, I, I, didn't, I didn't hear you click anything. Um, did they click one yet?